Hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration of my Outline Actor tool. In this video I'm going to go through my tool, what it does and how you can use it to add outlines and x-rays to various objects inside your games. I designed it to be super simple so all you need to do really to make this work is drag this one actor into your world and that's it. Okay, you add this actor to the world and that's all the code for you basically done. You just need to add one function to whatever you want to outline when you want to outline it and that's it. And I'll go through that in a moment, but let's just demonstrate working. So when I launch it, you'll notice that these are turned on by start and then turn off. That's something that has to be done to make sure they aren't occluded um, when they are hidden behind walls. Okay, so that's what that's there for. Notice that the gun is being masked out of the outline, so the outline doesn't trace around the gun as well. Most um, people will put a post process on and notice that this actually breaks it, uh, but we fixed that. Uh, here we've got a demonstration of the x-ray tool, and you can see as I look behind the wall, you can now still see it. So it's useful for like scanning enemies and things like that. And here's a little demonstration of what settings you need to change on, uh, on where you want to change it. And here we have a chair, and as a bonus thing, I made it so that when you look at items when told to, uh, they'll highlight when you look at them. Yeah, and that's basically it. Now, the settings you can change on your outline actor, we can click on here. If I get that in view, you can see them both happening. So, you've got outline settings, so you can change the thickness. So, if I change it to say like two, you can see the outline change its size there. Uh, I can change the color of it to whatever I want. I can also change the threshold. Now the threshold is when you have two objects close to each other that have an outline. So let's do an example of that. I'm just going to put in this chair. And put that there. So when I go into this thing here, Turn the outline on the sphere, but if then if I look at the chair, notice that the outline doesn't go through both objects, it goes around both of them. That's because of that threshold. And you can increase that threshold as much as you like. Um totally up to you. Uh the default minimum recommended is eight, uh, and that stopped it from going some weird artifacting issues. So don't go any lower than eight. In there you also got a glow. So if you want to add a glow to it, increase that number to high number you get a glowy effect and that's an emissive glow on it default is one and then we've got x-ray settings where we can customize the x-ray color itself to what we want so i can go like a nice hot pink and increase the opacity of it to whatever i like as well so overall fairly straightforward now how does this all work well let's show you so i'm going to click on this dude here open it up and the function that is controlling this is this. That is it. That's all you have to do to make it turn on and off. So you turn it on by ticking the box. You turn it off by unticking the box. And the actor you plug in is the thing that you want to highlight. So here on the highlight itself. And this is other codes just checking when I'm in that box and when I'm outside that box. And, but this is what's doing it. And this is handled by a, a, a function library. So you can access it from any actor in the game. No worries. And it does that all for you. So to demonstrate that, that's all you got there. Um, here we've got a actor though that when we look at it, it also uh, turns on. That one's a bit more complicated, but uh, let's show you that. So in my in the, this, these demo folders that you get, you'll find items, and we've got an interactable interface, uh, an item parent, and the BP chair, which is what you see here. If we go to the item parent, that's all we have. We have this interactable interface function. And when we look at it, basically when we say we're looking at it, it's an outline. And that's all that is doing. And the code on the player character then is all here in this line trace, uh, which does a line trace from the camera and checks whether or not we're looking at it. And if we are looking at it, call that function and say we are, and then detect when we're not looking at the same object. And that's all happening on a tick. And that is it. That's all there is to it. So you can use that for your own projects. And as I said, you just drag and drop this one outline actor into your world and add that function set outline on any actor you want to have uh, showing this. So, for example, 
Uh, let's make a quick one. I'm going to go make a new blueprint class, actor, and in there we're going to add a a uh, a cube. Okay. And on this cube, we're going to say on begin play, set outline. The actor is self. And show outline going to be true. And we drag it into the world. Hit play. And there it is. Okay. And it's that easy to get something highlighted. And you can do this with anything. So if you want like a mode where you can hit a button to turn on vision mode, you can do that too, all using this stuff. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, and thank you for showing your interest in this tool. Hopefully you find it useful. If you do have any questions or any issues or bugs you want me to try and fix or add, just contact me at support at ryanlaley.com and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at ryanlaley. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you head over to youtube.com forward slash ryanlaley to subscribe and watch and learn various tutorials in Unreal Engine 4. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye everyone. This tool is now available on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lely for all gold tier patrons. Massive thank you to all of my patrons for the continued support as none of this would be possible without you guys. So thank you so much and here is your outline tool for you. Otherwise you can also download this tool available now on the Epic Games Marketplace.